Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this a beautiful candlelight cozy, um, pickle jar cozy, whatever you want to name it. Um, the yarn I used is, I'm sure it is not available in your local area, but I'm going to put down below into the description box a link to Ice Yarns. That is a yarn that is similar to this yarn. Um, maybe when I find some other yarns, I'm going to put the link down below as well. Um, but, you know, Ice, Yarn do Ice Yarns does ship all over the world, which makes it, makes it a lot easier to, um, to get the same kind of yarn. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do for you. Um, if you made the um, candlelight cozy, would you please be so kind to um, give me credits for the pattern? And um, for example, on Instagram and tag me. Please do not forget to tag me so I can see your beautiful versions as well. They're fantastic for gifting. Um, if you give them to um, friends or family and just give them a little light in their life. Anyway, um, please enjoy watching the video. Um, these are the materials I'm going to use for my jar cozy. This is a, a jar, it is a pickle jar um, from a supermarket in the Netherlands and I love pickles so I have loads of these uh, pickle jars. I'm gonna tell you guys uh, what the measurements are from the top to uh, the bottom it is 13 and to 13 and a half centimeters which is just at about five inches and around it'll be 29.5 centimeters oh no yeah 29.5 centimeters or 11 and a half inch 11 and three quarters of an inch yeah okay um and this is yeah just at about five inches so uh but feel free to use any jar that you can find um when you decide to use a real candle be sure that it is uh, a glass jar and not one of plastic um yeah that. i'm gonna tell you in the video how you can adjust the size so if you if your a pickle jar is smaller then just feel free to adjust the size then i'm going to use a mr j cotton this is 100 percent um, cotton yarn 50 grams per ball of yarn 125 meters per skein um, I can imagine that this yarn is not available in a lo your local area, so therefore I'm going to um, post down below into the description box of the video some substitute yarns so you can um, uh, try and see if there is anything alike in your local area or at your yarn shop or um, the website that you will be ordering it. I'm going to post a few uh, things. If you have some suggest suggestions as well, um, uh, and let me know from which country you are so I can um, put that into the description box as well so we can help each other out. That would be so awesome. Um, then three to three and a half millimeter needles are suggested. This is the color uh, blush. It is a lovely pink color. Um, I already made one, actually I made a few more, but I made one with the same brand. Um, and this color is called, I, th I think it was Istanbul. Beautiful, beautiful color. Then I'm going to use a 3mm crochet hook, but I do have a loose tension. If you have a, a bit on a tighter side tension, I would suggest to use a 3.5mm hook. Then a darning needle to sew in the ends, a um, 
stitch marker a, a teacup candle um waxing light waxing light that's it uh waxing light but you can also use one with a battery just one like that uh if you prefer and then a pair of scissors <laughs> I'm going to start this pattern off with a magic ring. Here is my working strand of yarn. I'm placing it like that over my hand, then over my finger on the back side of my hand, straight back. Then I'm going to make a cross in the front and right straight back, um, sp back down on the other side so it looks like this I have a cross right here and on this side it looks like that okay let me do that one more time okay then get your hook with the hook facing down underneath your first strand of yarn and with the hook Grab your second strand of yarn and pull it underneath your first one. Then turn your hook, go under the first strand here, grab your yarn and pull it through the loop on your hook. And that's how I make my magic ring. Okay, then pull it a little tighter so the ring isn't that big I already made the chain one with closing the ring okay so I'm going to add three more chains one two and three so now I have four chains the first three are a, a double crochet and then one for a chain one space yarn over go back into your ring and crochet one double crochet so yarn over insert your hook in the ring grab your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and chain one and this is what we're going to repeat yarn over insert your hook in the ring grab your yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and chain one double crochet chain one I have one two three four double crochets and a chain one and I need 12 in total for the last double crochet I'm not gonna finish with a um, chain one so we need 12 double crochets with in between the chain one Five, chain one okay I pull a little on my tail and so my um, circle is a little bit more closed then instead of the chain one I'm going to single crochet into the third chain we have four chains here I'm going to single crochet into the third chain at the beginning of the round so one two three this is the third one inserting my hook there grab my yarn yarn over and pull through two and that is my single crochet um, I decided to do a single crochet instead of a chain one because I want to end up in the middle uh, between the stitches if I'm going to do a slip stitch then I will be right above the stitch and then I will need to do another slip stitch to go to a chain one space so therefore I decided to do the um, single crochet now chain three the chain three counts as a very first double crochet of the round into the space here so just right underneath the 
um, single crochet that we did for the chain space we're going to crochet there so so it looks like we have two double crochet into the same space because the chain three is just a double crochet chain one then I'm going to get my stitch marker and I'm going to place it into the third of the chain three so it will be easier to find that stitch um, at the end of this round to close it off I'm going to skip my very first double crochet here and I'm going to the chain space right there inserting my hook and crocheting two double crochets one and two chain one and this is what you do for all the chain one spaces of the previous round so skip the double crochet go to the chain space two double crochets and chain one now like I said you're going to do this for all the chain spaces except for the very last one because in the very last one we will just be crocheting two double crochets do not crochet the chain one so two double crochets chain one into the chain one spaces of the previous round I'll see you guys at the very end of this round I have a 24 um, a double crochets with um, after two double crochets a chain one for the last one I didn't do the chain one because again I'm going to do a single crochet instead taking the stitch marker out into the third of the um, chain three at the beginning of this round insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over and pull through two there you go now round number three chain three go back into that same space here and do another two double crochets into the same cha uh, chain space get your stitch marker and place it back into the third of the chain three at the beginning of this round chain one go to the next chain one space three double crochets one two three chain one next chain one space one two three chain one and this is what you do all the way around except for the last one in the last one you just crochet three double crochets do not crochet the chain one space okay I did my very last one here three double crochets into the same chain space and I'm not doing a chain one taking this stitch marker out inserting my hook in the third uh, chain at the beginning of the round and make a single crochet there you go now if you have a small jar this might be the perfect um, circle for you but this is my jar and I've turned it upside down this is my jar and this is the bottom of the jar and as you can see this is the um, bottom of the jar so this will be too small okay so I will need an extra round if um, if this one is perfect for your jar then leave it as it is skip the next row round and go to the round after that one okay but I'm gonna tell you in the video so keep on watching and I'm gonna tell you in the video where you should um, continue crochet right
Okay, chain three. The very first chain three is a double crochet. Now, three more double crochets into the same space, just like we did before, but now we need uh, four. So, the first one is the chain three, and then three double crochets. We're not crocheting the chain one space anymore. As you can see, it is not completely flat. After this round, it really does look crooked. Don't worry about it. This is what it's supposed to look like. Okay? So, four double crochets, no chain one. And in the next space, four double crochets. And four. If you like, you can place your stitch marker back into the third of the chain three at the beginning of the round. There you go. No chain one, go to the next space and four double crochets. Two, three, four. No chain one. I almost did a chain one. Next, four double crochets. And this is what you do all the way around. Okay, all the way around. And it looks like a little cup. It's not flat anymore. Do not worry. This is what it is supposed to look like. We're not doing the chain one. We never did that in this um in this round so we're not doing it while we're closing the round closing the round with just a slip stitch into the third chain at the beginning of the round so insert your hook grab your yarn and pull through the loop on the hook and that's a slip stitch now chain three and in this round we're just working into the back loops only here this is the stitch. We have the V of the stitch here. This is the front and this is the back. Usually we go underneath two strands like that. Okay. That's what we usually do. Now we're just working into the back loop only. So yarn over, go into the back loop and double crochet. Be sure that you have all of these four stitches. It might be tricky because here we have the chain, the chain three and right next to the chain three there is a stitch. So be sure that you have the first four stitches. Back loop only, double crochet. Or double crochet, back loop only. Now I have four. I'm going to the next set of four. One. Two, three, four. And this is what you do all the way around. Closing this round by slip stitching into the third of the chain three at the beginning of this round. And as you can see, you have a little cup. Okay? Now, this won't fit perfectly over your um, jar. Believe me, it won't fit. But if you hold it like this and if you stretch it a little, it'll fit. And this is what we need. We need it to be really tight around the jar. It's easier to uh, try it again later on. And believe me, if you have the same jar or or um, the same measurements with your jar. Um, it needs to be a tight fit. Okay. I'm going to show you after we did a few more rounds what I meant, what I mean. Now, chain one. 
go back into the same stitch which is here the chain and the third of the chain and make a single crochet get your stitch marker and place the stitch marker into the um, single crochet then a double crochet into the same stitch so you change three here where we did the slip stitch and where we did the um, single crochet we also need to make a double crochet into that one now skip the next stitch this might be a little tricky because it looks a little hidden behind the other uh, stitch here is where we just did the stitch right next to that one here is the double crochet skip this one and we're going to the next one single crochet and double crochet in that stitch skip the next single crochet and double in the next skip single crochet and double crochet in the next skip single crochet double crochet skip and this is what we do all the way around so skip single crochet double crochet in the same stitch skip so skip this one okay all the way around double crochet now I have one stitch left this looks like a stitch but it is nothing else than a um, loop of the slip stitch of the previous round there you go that is the slip stitch so that is not a stitch skip this one take your stitch marker out and what you can do because we will be crocheting in continuous rounds what you can do is crochet into the single crochet I'm going to show you single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch but then you end up having a big hole here and I don't like that so after we did the last stitch do a single crochet into the same stitch as we did on the, at the beginning of this round so again in the chain 3 right there there single crochet now make a double crochet into the single crochet the one the one where we just uh, took our stitch marker out that one double crochet in there then get your stitch marker and place it back into the single crochet we just did there you go now skip the double crochet go to the single crochet and into the single crochet single crochet and double crochet double. skip and go to the single crochet for a single crochet and a double crochet skip in the single crochet a single crochet and a double crochet so in this round we will not be working into the double crochets but in the single crochets only in every single crochet you put one single crochet and a double crochet so skip single crochet and a double skip single crochet and a double and this is what you do all the way around okay um, a last stitch was in here and the next stitch should be into the place where the stitch marker is so I'm taking the stitch marker out and um, we 
are working in continuous rounds, so we're not closing the round with a slip stitch. So a single crochet and a double crochet into the single crochet. Then get your stitch marker and place it back into the single crochet we just did to mark off the beginning of our new round. Because this is a round number three of the uh, Suzette stitch round, because this is how we, this um, stitch is called, my favorite stitch. One of my favorite stitches, the Suzette stitch. Um, please continue just like we did before, working into the um, single crochet and make a single crochet and a double crochet, skipping the double crochet and a single and a double in the next. This is what you do again all the way around. Um, this is round number three of the Suzette stitch and in total we need six rounds. So I'll meet you guys back here when I did six rounds. As soon as I'm ready to do the next stitch into the stitch marker, I'll be turning the camera back on and uh, show you guys what to do next. So enjoy and see you in a minute. I did my very last stitch before the stitch marker and I have six rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six rounds with the Suzette in the round stitch. Then take your stitch marker out and in the stitch where the stitch marker was the uh, single crochet just slip stitch to close off the round. Then chain one single crochet into the same stitch and then chain seven one two three four five six seven skip the double crochet skip the next single crochet skip the next double crochet and in the very next single crochet single crochet Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the double crochet. Skip the single crochet. Skip the double crochet. And single crochet into the single crochet. And this is what you repeat all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip, skip, skip single crochet. Now continue this all the way around but before you start off your very last chain seven of the round um, please come back and I'll tell you guys how to close off the round. So do not start at chain seven. Okay? I just did my very last uh, single crochet here and actually now it is time to do the uh, chain seven but when I do the chain seven um, I end up here because it will go like that and I end up here but I would like to end here in the middle in the middle of um, the big the, the large chain of seven Okay, so I'm not going to do the chain seven, I'm going to do the chain three instead. Then yarn over twice for a treble crochet. I'm going to do the treble crochet into the single crochet at the beginning of the round. So here is the single crochet, insert your hook there, grab your yarn, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And as you can see right now, these are almost alike. Um, they, these are almost alike. I mean like the height. See? Now, chain one, single crochet. Get your stitch marker and place it into the single crochet. 
and then continue making uh, seven chains one two three four five six seven go to the next chain space insert your hook in the middle and a single crochet chain seven go to the next chain space and a single crochet and this is um, what you do until you reach the point where the stitch marker is and then I'll be back to show you what to do next chain one and a single crochet get your stitch marker and just place it into the single crochet stitch there you go Here in my next single crochet, there is the stitch marker. So we're going to close this round by doing exactly the same as what we did in the previous round. Take your stitch marker out, chain three, and treble crochet into the very first single crochet of this round. There you go. Chain one, single crochet into the space, Place your stitch marker back and chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And single crochet into the next space. So we just did two rounds. We are working on round number three and it for this pattern I'm doing we need four rounds so as soon as I did four rounds I will be back to show you guys what to do next one two three four five six seven and single crochet closing this round number four just like we did in the other rounds so chain three yarn over twice and into the single crochet a treble crochet then chain one and a single crochet for the next round place your stitch marker back and instead of a chain seven we're going to do a chain four one two three four sorry and single crochet into the middle one two three four and single crochet into the next chain space one two three four and single crochet into the next chain space and this is what you do all the way around Um, in the next space there is my very first stitch of this round which is the uh, single crochet I'm taking the stitch marker out and one two three four chains and into the single crochet a slip stitch then for our next round a slip stitch into the chain space here then chain one and per chain space we want four single crochet one two three four and if you like you can place the stitch marker back into the very first stitch there you go next space four single crochet one two three four next space one big loop one two three four next space one two three 
four. And this is what you do until you are here. Okay, I did uh, my last four single crochet. Uh, I already took the stitch marker out and then I'm going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Then chain one. Um, I'm going to show you guys that it really does fit around uh, the jar, but it's kind of uh, snug. So you need to stretch everything out. See? So it looks like it is too small, but it really does fit quite perfectly. I love this pattern. All right. Um, so for the next round, I already did my very first um, chain stitch. Then single crochet into the same stitch as where your slip stitch is. Then do another double crochet in it. Get your stitch marker and place it right back into the um, single crochet that we just did. Then in each um, space here there are four single crochet. So in this one there are four but this one um, it's a little hidden behind the um, Suzette stitch we just did. So please do not um, forget that one. We're going to skip it and then we have two stitches left in this space. If that is so, then you are on the... Um, and everything is alright. So, skip that one. And single crochet and a double crochet in the next. Whoops. Double crochet. Then skip the next and your next single crochet should be in the next space. So single crochet, double, skip, single, double, skip, single, double. And this is what you do all the way around until you are here. When you're here I'm going to show you the seamless way I um, um, will start working on the next round. Right? Double crochet. One stitch left and here is where the stitch marker is. I'm going to take the stitch marker out and basically I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did here. What you do is Uh, single crochet into the single crochet into the same space as where you did the single crochet is which is right there not here but there then single crochet and into the single crochet where you just took your sti stitch marker out a double crochet then place your stitch marker right back into the space there and continue just like you did before skipping the double crochet single crochet and double crochets into the single crochets. So skipping the double and working into the single crochets only. This is what you do for a total of four rows or a number of rows that you need. If you need more, do four more rows. Um, but be aware that after that you will have three more rows. Okay? So, um, see you guys when I did my four rows. Rounds. Sorry, I should say rounds. At the very end of this round, I just have one double crochet left, which we're not going to work in. Then take out your stitch marker and close your round with um, a slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Now, gen, then chain four, 
chain three for a double crochet and a chain one for a chain one space. Skip the double crochet of the previous row and work a double crochet into the single crochet. Chain one. Skip and a double crochet into the single crochet. Chain one. And this is what we do for this round. I'll see you guys at the very beginning of this round. Chain one and close your round in the third chain at the beginning of this round. Then with a slip stitch. Then slip stitch into the chain space. Chain one single crochet, double crochet into the same chain space. Skip the double crochet and go to the next chain space for a Suzette stitch, which is a single crochet and a double crochet. Single crochet and double in the next chain space until you are at the very beginning of this round again. And then we can crochet the very last round. So I'll see you guys at the very end of this round. The very last stitch of this round. Then in the next there is the Suzette stitch. The very first one of this um, round. Um, I'm going to do it different than what I did here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just work into the single crochet for a single crochet and a double crochet in it. Oops. I said a double crochet in it which together makes the Suzette stitch. Because here for some reason at this point you do not get the um, big gap. So placing the stitch marker into the very first stitch and then just one more round working the Suzette stitch, the single crochet and double crochet together are called the Suzette stitch into the single crochets of the previous round. I'll see you guys at the very beginning or very end of this round. I did my very last stitch, taking the stitch marker out and slip stitch into the very first stitch, then chain one, cut your yarn, leave a little bit of a till and so you can sew it in easier and then give it a good tuck and sew all your yarn ends in on the inside of your work. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'll be back to show you what to do next. And this is what my cozy looks like. Um, well, I have my first one here, or well, it's not my first one, but I have another one here. Uh, and I like to make um, a string with a bow, just like I did here for this one as well. But I think I'm going to take this one out and put it in here and the one uh, I'm going to make right now with you guys I'm going to put it in this one so you have a sort of a matching set what else that you can do is um, put on some um, glitter and glamour like um, rhinestones um, or uh, maybe a button with your name um, I have buttons that say made, uh, made by seam. Um, do whatever you like to put on it. Uh, and they are perfect for gifts. So, Alright. Um, get your yarn. Make a slip knot on your hook. And let's make a long chain of 120 chains. Yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, 
I need 120. Okay, I have 120 chains. I just cut my yarn and I'm going to pull through. I already put this one uh, on the pickle jar um, and I took this one out of here and I'm going to weave the pink one through this one and that's what I'm going to show you now. Um, have the right side of your work facing you and here in the front just put your um, um, string th through a, a darning needle just like that and then just weave it in go in out in out in out and just go on until you are um, right back where the other one is almost there there you go Now, what I do right now, you don't have to do this, but this is what I do. You can also put beads on here if you like. Um, put your beads on first and then make a knot at the very end here. Just one or two knots, just like you prefer. And then cut your yarn like that. Do the same on the other side. But remember if you want to have beads, do the beads first and then your little knot. And then cut it just like that. Now, here is your pickle jar. It might be hard to put this one on the pickle jar because it's like really tight. What you do is open it a little up, put your pickle jar, the bottom of your pickle jar in there, just like that. Hold it down with your fingers and just push this over the top and then there it is. And then um, tie a bow or whatever you like. I'm not so good in making beautiful bows, but well, there you go. And this is what my, my set of pickle jar cozies look like. They're actually the same, one, two, three, four, five, six, but still they look a little different. There you go. And this is what the set looks like, the Pickle Jar Cozy Suzette. Um, I love it. I'm glad I put the string with the um, um, pink color on here and the um, grayish color on this one. I love it super super nice i hope you guys like it too um if you're going to make some of these uh please give them as a present to friends and family and um, um and um, when you make them show them on instagram and be sure to check made by seam or put them on facebook and um on our group facebook group made by seam headquarters anyway um Enjoy. Please enjoy making them and enjoy gifting them. Bye for now. Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this a beautiful uh, jar cozy, candlelight jar cozy, pickle jar cozy, whatever you want to name it. Um, it is pretty easy to make. Um, 
with this beautiful cotton yarn that I got from a friend of mine uh, that she sells in her uh, web shop. Um, but I'm going to list down below a, um, a couple of different um, yarns so you can find a way, you, so you know... Hi and a welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful candle light jar, cozy, whatever you want to name it, pickle jar cozy. Um, it is pretty easy to make if you follow along with the instructions. If you don't have the same size jar, do not worry because I'm going to tell you how to adjust the size of the um, bottom here. Uh, which is actually pretty easy so um, and this is like a, actually a really big jar so um, look so yeah you should be able to find something similar um, in your local area anyway um, please enjoy watching the video um, I'm gonna post some Nah, seam. And that's all I'm going to use for um, the candle cozy. Candle light pot jar cozy. I don't know. Pickle jar cozy. Jar cozy. I'll figure that out later. I already took my stitch marker out. Stitch, stitch marker. Placing it back. Okay. They okay. make the perfect gifts. So if you want um, a smile on someone's face, then just make a pickle jar candy. Um, so if you want to put a smile on someone's face, um, I suggest to make a pickle jar cozy um, for them and. Um, you might find this uh, a beautiful pattern too. Oh, no, 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 shim, shim. <clears throat> Well, this is what the set looks like. Uh, the pickle jar, pickle, <laughs> the pickle jar, cozy Suzette. That's it. 